Coming up on Coding Master. How to create a game on Ingenuity Helicopter that has been challenged by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Hello friends. Introducing Coding Mastero. The most advanced coding tutorials. Based on coding in code.org, scratch, thunkable, and many more. Dot. Some apps thought to code are ping pong ball game, basketball game, and many many more. Please like, share, and subscribe. Any doubts the comments is always free for you. Welcome back to Coding Master and today is a very 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 special day and it is the day of a very 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 special episode called as the monthly bonus episode. This is the first monthly bonus episode. From this month onwards you will get a bonus episode every month. Um, which will be uh, sent at the end of each month. Now it's already 7th of me so i'm a bit late to, uh, in this video is dedicated to the month of april okay in each bonus episode we are going to solve a very 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 exciting puzzle uh from many countries uh that has been challenged by many companies okay uh, and we are also going to use code.org, Scratch, Thunkable, and many, many uh, other applications. So this is the first monthly bonus episode. And as I already mentioned, from henceforth, you'll get a bonus episode every month. So what are we going to do in today's bonus episode, you're going to ask. So this month's bonus episode. In this month, we are going to solve a problem problem that has been challenged by nasa or national aeronautics and space administration we are going to code a helicopter which has been carried by the perseverance rover onto mars called ingenuity helicopter in scratch okay uh, the helicopter has already created uh, flown its first flight so we are basically going to code the same helicopter uh, in scratch we are going to create a helicopter and then we are going to fly it. okay so we are going to create our own heli helicopter and code so that the helicopter will move as we press our arrow keys there will be a targeted landing area we have to uh, land in that area in a certain amount of time that is will be given only 10 seconds okay yeah let us move on okay you will be able to see the uh, comparison of the perseverance rover with the curiosity rover which has already landed on mars and the channel of everyday astronaut the links down in the description 
uh, so in every day astronaut will be uh, seeing and also you can uh, see the video of the first flight of the ingenuity helicopter at nasa and you can also watch the rover as it launches and lands at nasa and then every day astronaut also you can watch okay so here every year uh, or every month when we do a special bonus episode here i'll be going to write uh, uh, the name of the episode basically uh, or what we are going to do in that uh, episode i'm just going to type it and this will be updated every month okay so here let us watch a very short video of the ingenuity helicopter for me it's actually important to understand uh, the thing which we are coding uh, we must understand everything uh, so basically we can see this short video to understand more about the ingenuity helicopter so yeah let's watch it video time This video's link will also be dropped down in the description box. So, uh, to get a clear view of this video, this is the Ingenuity helicopter. What you are seeing right on now on the screen. This is the rotor test to see that the rotors are working. It is very difficult to fly in the thin Martian atmosphere, but they have completed the first flight. So let us see how or what is going to perform right now this is the rover the perseverance rover uh, uh, which took the helicopter uh, to the journey or uh, on the journey of mars it was stuck under its belly uh, so now the rotors have started spinning they spin about 2000 times or no, no 200 times every second uh, yeah that's a quick fun fact the helicopter is also solar powered, as you can see. Yeah, and lift off. There are cameras on the base of the helicopter. The helicopter is just one kilogram. Just one kilogram. Yeah, uh, you can see here your view. And this perseverance rover it has some very cool and amazing features for that you have to check out tim dodd or the everyday astronauts video on perseverance versus curiosity he does a very good comparison uh, the link uh, all the link of all the channels and videos will be dropped in the description box below yeah Okay, so as you can see, this is what we are going to code uh, in today's episode. So let us see it. Yeah, it took some aerial images, and then this is the very important part it should land. If it does not land, then it is a mission failure. Those legs are very springy, uh, which you'll see further in this video only. Yeah. So it'll just drop down. Uh, the rotor speed will decrease and drop down. You can see that it bounces off the surface. Yeah. It bounces the pitches of the surface. Okay, so this was a very short video on the Ingenuity helicopter. Small introduction video of the Ingenuity. 
so let us dive into this project and make the school helicopter fly around in Mars. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we are loading project and here we are at Scratch 3.0 online editor version. So Scratch 3.0 uh, and Scratch 3.0. Uh, what? Um, there are more options uh, than the Scratch 2.0. Uh, there are more options and uh, this link will also be dropped down in the description box. So uh, I'm just gonna show you one of the code that I have written on how this project will turn out. So there are there is the timer. I have trapped a fourteen, uh, no, fifteen second timer. Uh, we are going. I'm pressing the arrow keys now and on the red target. When we touch on the red target, we are going to say mission success. Okay, I hope you all heard it. Mission success. Okay. Uh, let's go back now to the uh, project which we will be going to code now, right now. So, yeah. On the inside and here, we are going to first choose the sprite. So, sprite here. I'm going to go to desktop and here I have this scratch helicopter version. Then we are going to choose backdrops. Uh, actually, the backdrops, the sprites, and all are in the website of NASA's JPL Edu. Okay, there are two backdrops. One is the real Martian surface, and one other one is a drawing of the Martian surface. This is the drawing, and this is the real. Okay, so uh, the link to the website of NASA will also be dropped down, and the link to the images. Or of the backdrop will also be dropped in the description box. Okay, now I will discard the cat sprite and make the size of the helicopter as 200. Okay, so it became quite big. So now we are going to create another sprite. Okay, it is going to be the area where we land. Yeah, it is a circle. Uh, with red color, red color circle with, I'll just add 14, thickness of the outer boundary is 14, and I'll uh, slide it down, that's the size to about 50, yeah, yeah, this is enough, now we are going to change the direction, now uh, it looks like it's on the surface of Mars. Okay, so let us code the helicopter. Helicopter. Yeah, first we'll go to events, drag out when flat click. Then uh, we'll um, write our first code, drop the forever, then we'll drop the if, then then we'll say if yeah, uh, yeah uh, we'll first drop the if then code then we'll say when up key up key up arrow is pressed uh, here we need um, that here we need um yeah just a minute wrong with this I'm tracking yeah just give me a minute loading yeah when the up arrow is 10 when the up arrow is pressed, we have to set change y by 10. And we are going to copy, duplicate the same code for when right arrow is pressed. We are going to change y by minus 10. Okay, so same code duplicate and press it. So when the down arrow is there, 
rest we are going to set uh, no, no change x by 10 um yeah it's change x by 10 then again we are going to duplicate this and keep press it as when left arrow is pressed change x by minus 10 yeah now let's test it oh, then see that it's moving in all wrong direction so that's a mistake over here now let us check what mistake we have done when left arrow is pressed we have to change it by minus 10 yeah change x by minus 10 yeah when left arrow is pressed change x by minus 10 see what we are getting wrong Yeah, all right. Minus 10. Let's we have to experiment actually. Sorry, difficult to get the answers right all the time. And yes, by 10, change by button. Okay, so now change. Yeah, but no mistake. Left arrow and a right arrow should be actually the same. Change X and change Y only. And now I guess we'll get it. Minus 10 and Y. And now I guess we'll get it. Yes. Ah, now we got it. Okay, then we'll stop it over here. Then we'll add go to events when flag clicked, and we need the helicopter to appear in this position that is minus 70, x is minus 70, and y is my minus x is minus 170, and y is minus 130. Okay, so this is done. So done, 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 done. Okay, so this coding is done. Next, we'll code the time. I know. This is time. We'll go to variables here. We'll click on new, create name of new, new variable. Okay, here we are going to write time. In time of variable, we are gonna click first on when flag click, when flag click, yeah. In events, when flag click, set variable to set timer to 10. Okay, uh, forever, we'll drag the forever loop. And forever change my variable, change timer by minus one. Okay, so we um yeah change timer by minus one and yeah wait a minute I'm just uh. Checking on something new over here, yeah, and we are going to click on wait one second uh, after change timer by one minus one, and uh, we are going to drag the wait one second. So left click and clean up the blocks. So messy. Okay, then we have to say whether it's mission successful or not. So we are going to add when flag click, drag in the forever loop, drag in the 
if if then loop go to sensing then go here to touching color click on the color go to the filler here click on red so here uh, now you can you see this little extension uh, add extension block that blue block we are going to click on that this here we are going to click on text to speech okay. here we are going to say first we are going to go to looks say hello we are we are going to drag in say hello and in that place of hello uh, we are going to type mission success then success copy that Okay. Copy that. Go to text to speech. Here we are gonna say mission success. Yeah. Over here, before that, we're gonna drag set voice to alto. Okay, you can choose any voice. Okay, so I guess uh, I feel that alto is nice. So. Um, pretty sure this should work. So, yeah, I'm dragging another option, experimenting on something. Then it will work. Yeah, this is done. Our code is done. Okay, let us see. Yeah, we'll uh, put another code over here that will go to events and here we are going to drag when flag clicked and after when flag click we are going to add forever. Yeah, forever if, if then, yeah. Then and go to operators. We are gonna we are gonna drag dash is equal to dash. So in the first dash, we are gonna go to variables, click on timer, drag and drop. So then we are gonna change fifty to zero in the second dash. So uh, we are gonna say uh, text to speech speech. Um, going to say mission failure that is when uh, the time or when the time ends up um, it is going to say as mission failure okay we are going to set voice to giant okay so it will say mission failure something like that okay so this is done Clean up the blocks and let us test. It's testing time. Okay, let us see what will happen. I didn't stop. What happened? What happened? I'm going to put it zero, but it's not stopping. Because we haven't added stop all. So silly of me. Okay, stop all. I need to try. Yeah. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, stopped. And I hope it said mission failure because I can't hear. And, uh, when the audio system audio is shared, oh it's a wonderful, wonderful game. Let us see if we can complete. Ooh, mission success! Yay! This is a very awesome game. I want you all to try that game. So, 
I'm just uh, going to show you and just show my project. And my project link will also be dropped down in the description box. Don't forget it. Okay, so I'll just uh, type it as mission. Mission helicopter. Okay. So I'll just type it and I want to show you NASA's. Uh, website that is JPL Kids website and I'm also going to show you a video over there. Okay, so let us watch the video first. Yes, they have drawn it in the backdrop. They have added uh, the target as a part of the backdrop, but we have not done that. So it's completely fine uh, because what we are doing is properly working, properly working. Uh, so it's completely fine. Uh, but it's also fine if we do this method only.
okay this link will only be posted in the uh, description box you can also copy it over here yeah this is an official nasa video okay so okay so we have the first materials what we need we need a computer with internet access a free scratch account then we have some mass surface images uh, so this uh, zip file will be shared in the description box and we also need a png photo or a image of the mass helicopter so we have to set up download the uh, mass images and zip it then we have to choose the backdrop they are explaining it uh, in uh, <coughs> they are explaining it over here as words which you can also see at my website more details at the end of the video so that's it guys we are wrapping up we created a mass project at nasa's um, that was challenged by nasa's jpl or jet propulsion laboratory and that's it we did we had great success today so and also be sure to subscribe to my channel click the bell button so that you'll get all the notifications on my upcoming video and also don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends so that coding will spread to many people and also be sure to comment on any doubts that you have in coding related or anything related to computers so you just want to subscribe like share and comment on any of the videos or any doubts that you have related to coding so that's it guys thank you And you also go to check out my new website that is lakshadiga09.wixsite.com slash coding master. Here uh, you can learn about any alerts uh, which will be posted on the website. Then you can also view my videos. Then you can also see my upcoming events. And then you can contact us if you have any doubts by giving your name, email, phone number and address is optional if you want to give then you can give but don't worry your name email phone number address will all be safe with us uh, and you can also uh, type the subject and you can type the uh, you type your doubt over here uh, in this block then you can click submit to send your doubt to us okay then you can also chat with a chat board over here uh, we will respond to you as soon as we can and if you are a member of this website you can chat directly with me um, and i will respond to you as soon as i can so let us move back to the top and i'm going to show you where you can see my article version of how to use microsoft powerpoint part one don't worry there will be many more parts coming uh, so you just got to go to blogs in which will be in a more uh, and here uh, you can see over here that there is already the article of how to use Microsoft PowerPoint everything you need to know okay uh, so if you click on the uh, link it will open you uh, open a new article here you can uh, read the full or the whole article uh, uh if you want any reference or if you want a more detailed version of this video so that's it guys and for sure all the music in my video is original to listen to it go to lakshadika09.wixsite.com slash coding master slash music